I'm here with Allie of Bonacle, who has a very interesting system to allow people to play games on uh, devices using a hand controller. Can you describe what this is all about? Correct. So Bonacle is a braille entertainment platform for the blind. We're creating a very small device that looks like a mouse, but it really doesn't function like a mouse. So it has one braille cell that places that is basically placed under your fingertip, the index finger, and you have three buttons around it, like next and previous buttons, and a select button, and you have two side buttons on this side. You connect Bonacle to your smart device, whether it's like iPhone or iPad, for example, and you get access to a library of applications, whether they're educational apps, productivity apps, or games. So do those uh, apps all come from Bonacle? Yeah, we do develop at the moment, we do develop our own apps and games, and we do have an SDK for any developer to integrate their own apps or develop apps for Bonacle to utilize a part of it. It's basically packed with sensors that can be basically motion sensors, um, haptic feedbacks, uh, audio for sure, and tactile feedback. Oh, that's really cool. So I'm looking at this now. It looks like... I don't know how to describe that. It's kind of a teardrop shape about the size of my hand. And like you said, it's got three buttons. It's got a turquoise button in the middle, big buttons on either side, and then, then the single cell braille cell, right? Correct. So, for example, in here we have a very simple game. We call it Bo's Run. So we have a guide dog called Bo. This is a robotic guide dog, and you need to basically train him to avoid obstacles. You'd have different obstacles in front of you. Each obstacle is represented in a different way on the, on the braille cell. And for example, if it's a short obstacle, you'd need to jump over it by sliding barnacle on the surface or on a table, for example, by sliding it forward. If it's a short or a, or a tall obstacle, you'd need to slide under it. So basically, you'd slide barnacle backward, and this way you'd glide under that obstacle. If it's a complete block, you'd need to switch lanes, so either go right or left by moving barnacle to the sides. Okay, I, th I think we, you should describe it while I play it. What yeah, do you think? Please. Can we do yeah. that? Yeah, All right, sure. I'm gonna hold this, yeah, no worries. hold it real close to your mouth there. All right, right go ahead. Here. Yep. All right, so, so just, I well, I can't find the play button. Yeah, okay. there you go. So you tell me what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I think I just turned. Correct. So, so now, slide right, left, and front, and back. Yeah. Okay. So right now we can feel on under your fingertip a com a complete block. So the braille cell is completely up. That oh. means that it's blocked. Once you feel haptic feedback, you need to take action quickly by moving okay. sideways. Okay. Uh, look forward a little bit. You're, uh -oh. you're getting the hang of it. Correct. Okay. I'm going, to, I'm going left, right. Left, now that's right. a hole. You need to jump over it. Okay. Once you feel the I'm haptic, oh, there you oh, go. I Perfect. I'm sliding forward. Oh, and I can figure. Oh, I'm going to go under that one. Correct. Oh, because I'm shorter than that. <laughs> you're okay. doing great. Yeah, that yeah, is I perfect. Once. Yep. Ollie's telling me I'm doing, oh, I got nothing in front of me. Oh, uh, that's a, a crazy got bike. Hit by a tricycle. Yep. Man, these. Oh, sorry. My my hand naturally kind of jitters. I'm going to jump that one. Yeah. Oh, I'm flying now. Perfect. Okay, looks like I got to go under this one. I'm going to slide back. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm cheating because I'm looking, but we really should have done. Whoops. We should have had me play it with my eyes closed. Absolutely. And actually, this is very important. The region we're actually focusing on games, because for blind people, that will actually improve their finger sensitivity. So they need to take the right action quickly at the right time. And that would pave the way for them to learn Braille and get better at Braille later on. And that would actually, that is why we're creating a lot of educational apps that they can use to learn Braille on their own. So for example, we have an app that can teach them the alphabet in any language. I'm sorry, can you help me? Come on. Yeah. We're trying to there get you go. Correctly. No problem. Okay. We've got that. So now it's connected to an app, an alphabet app, that would basically describe what you're feeling. So this is the letter A. It's saying that this is the letter A. It's represented okay. by the dot one. If you click the next button, this character is represented by dot one so it would speak out loud and say that this is letter B, what you're touching at the moment, and it's represented by the dots one and two. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume back up. I turned it down. Now I see why you wanted the volume one up. And two. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hit B. next. C. This character. C. This character is represent. C. C. This character. D. This. D. This character. D. 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 This. D. This. D. This character is represented by dots one, four, and five. And then if I click next. E. This character is represented by dots one and five. And this way you'd be able to go through the alphabet and the num numbers and you'd be able to learn them. And then you can take it further to like a spelling app where you can just tell it a word, dictate a word or a sentence, and it will be represented under your fingertip in Braille and it does handle contractions as well. 
Oh, that's really yeah. cool. I've been looking for better ways to learn Braille. When I was a little girl, I got a piece of cardboard and I yeah. punched out the letters so that I could try to teach it to myself. It, it's like a superpower, really. You'd be the KB, it's secret yeah, code, exactly. right? Exactly. It's unbelievable. It's very good to learn. I mean, we actually do get a lot of interest from sighted people and from parents who have blind children because they do need to help their kids in their education process. Oh, so yeah, they do yeah. need to need Braille. And that's why we're focusing on the UI of the apps to actually provide all the information needed for anyone who's sighted around them to actually be able to help them out. So this is how it looks like. So the letter is represented in both text and Braille. I see, that's very cool. So, um, by the way, it's spelled B-O-N-O-C-L-E, like monocle, only monocle for yeah, Braille? It's, it's, it's short for Braille monocle. So that's kind of very similar. It's like a reading device. It's very portable. It shows you part of the text at a time. That's why we have one Braille cell. And when you move it, you'll get the full picture of what you're reading. And that's kind of very similar to a monocle. Yes, yes. So uh, you mentioned iPad and, and iPhone. Does it also work on Android? It will, for sure. We're working on that. But for now, we're starting off with iOS devices, and then we'll expand to Android very soon. Very good, very good. So where would people find this product? You can order it online at the moment on our website, www.bonocle.co. And that you'd be able to pre-order it. At the moment, on, on pre-order, you get 20% discount, and we're shipping by next month. And uh, how much will that be costing? It's costing $500 at the moment under the discount. It's $399, so 20% off at the moment. Very interesting. Well, thank you very much, Ali. I appreciate your time. This thank is cool. You. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.